hello friends welcome to my channel today we are analyzing a t beam the moment of resistance we are going to find for the t beam the effective width of the flange is given effective depth this is the web portion width of the web bw depth of the flange this is df is given and ast 5 bars of 20 dia we are providing and m20 and fe41y is using so we have three cases like uh, if xu is less than xu is the neutral axis right if xu is less than the depth of the flange then this is the first case will be used and we will find the xu max and we will calculate if xu is less than xu max then this will be the under reinforced beam and the mor moment of resistance of the beam of t beam is calculated by this formula right 0.87 fy ast provided d minus 0.42 xu if this case is not satisfied if if this xu is greater than df then two case arises first case is df may be less than 3 by 7 of xu like this is depth of the flange and this one this one is the case 3 by 7 of xu so depth of the flange is less than 3 by 7 of xu then if it is satisfied then mor is calculated by this formula is given in IS code. So MR, MR will be calculated by this Excel sheet. And finally, if this is again not satisfied, so DF may be greater than 3 by 7 of XU. So XU is calculated by this formula and we will compare it. And finally, MOR that is movement of resistance of the beam is calculated by this formula. This will be automatically calculated. And this one is the data limit, right? So let's start. We have given DF is the effective width of the flange that is 750 mm, BW is 250 mm, this is width of the web, okay. Depth of the flange is 100 mm, and effective depth is given. This is the effective depth from the this extreme fiber to the center of the reinforcement. So, effective depth is given as 400 mm. You just need to fill your data in these pink cells. FCK is M20 and FE415. Right. So assume bar dia. So dia is 20 mm we are using. And number of bars is 5. So AST provided is calculated by this formula. Pi by 4 D square into number of bars 1570. So in this case you can see XU has been calculated by this formula. This is 105. But now this is showing that XU is greater than DF, right? So DF is 100 mm and this one is 105. So XU is greater than DF. So neutral axis lies outside of the flange. So neutral axis will not lies in the depth in the flange. It will lie in the web portion. So it is the case too. So we you need to find the XU max. We are using the FE415. So XU max by D is 0.48. So X U max is calculated as 192. So it is a case two. So we will move. This will be not calculated by MOR. It will be not calculated by this formula. So it is a case two. So if you are assuming X U is greater than D F. So X U is calculated by this formula. So now in this case X U is already calculated 65. 3 by 7 of X U is 28. Now D F we have to calculate D F is 100 mm and 3 by 7 xu is 28 so df is greater than 3 by 7 xu so it is not the this case so it is case 3 so under reinforced beam so mor it is a case 3 so mr mor is not calculated by this formula right so finally the df is greater than 3 by 7 of xu see this will be calculated xu is calculated by this formula yf yf is given by 0.5 xu and 65 into df we will put this formula into this so xu is calculated 110.85 3 by 7 xu is 48 so df now df is you can see df is greater than 3 by 7 of xu this is the stress block so finally this will be the case which will be used so mor is being calculated by this formula finally mor is calculated as 202.46 kN meter this will be the total moment of resistance of the T beam by this. If you change EF by 1000 mm, so you will see 
first case is okay xu is this much is calculated 79 df is 100 mm so xu is less than df then it is case 1 this case is satisfied this is under reinforced beam xu is less than xu max so finally mor is calculated as 208 so this much is satisfied so moment of resistance is calculated already so if you change the value by 800 you can see now the moment of resistance calculated by case 1 friends this is the analysis of t beam all the three cases are defined you can see and you can use this excel sheet for calculation of strength of the t beam that is moment of resistance so if you like this video please subscribe this channel and if you want this excel sheet please mail me or whatsapp me on my mail thanks for watching